Joyce J. Scott, Walk a Mile in My Dreams, features nearly 140 works from the 1970s to present. What we are achieving here today is one one millionth of Joyce's brilliance. Joyce Scott's work ranges from sculpture, jewelry, textiles, including artwear garments, performance compilations, prints, and mixed media installations. At this moment in her career, after five decades of making and being and taking up so much of our imaginations, we thought it was time to give a retrospective. As an African-American artist. And so what you see here is a story of someone's life unfolding over chapters. This is her new large-scale commission called Threads That Unite My Seat to Knowledge. So there's a yurt in there. I know a yurt. There's a, a, a building that we've made that has my beadwork and my mother's quilt work and there's sculpture and then and there's wall hangings. It's just a jamboree. Scott learned much of what she does from her mother, Elizabeth Talford Scott, who is also an artist. Her mother is also the subject of a solo exhibition here. What did we do for women's history? We existed. We persevered. We understood that we had a role that we could play. I, I didn't do it for fame, although I am famous. My mom didn't do it for fame. We did it because we knew if we could set an example, no matter how humble, someone else could say, oh, I could do that. 75-year-old Scott calls herself a round-the-way girl from Sandtown. This is what she hopes you see in her work. I want them to be invigorated. Invigorated, I want them to be joyous. I want them to see the possibilities of life. And sometimes art can do it. The exhibit opens March 24th. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.